Okay, in this video, we will be going in depth into the routing and patching. So, in short, I can say we have uh, a phys we call it a physical patching and a digital patching. So, let me show you how we do it. So, for instance, normally we have a patching guy which we will go to the stage area where they patch all these physical uh, XLR or the in signals. So, maybe you have a mic 1, mic 2, kick drum 1, uh, hi hat mic, tom mic. So, they will patch according to channels, maybe channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the stage boxes. Uh. So, after he patches, to the stage box normally they will patch according to what the sound engineer want for example let's say the sound engineer want the kick drum at the channel one then he will contact the patch guy uh, with the walkie talkie so that the patch guy will patch the input one to the kick drum so with this new wing we doesn't need to do that so the patch guy can patch whatever he like and the sound engineer at the board can do his uh, digital patching according what he want. So let me show you what the patch guy can do. So from the routing, the patch guy can do the patching according to the stage boxes or uh, with the new app core pilot app, which actually for now, for the time being, is not being released. So let's take an example uh, of AESA which we connected to the Behringer S16 so we have 48 in so let's say I'm the patch guy I'm going to patch a mic 1 to this channel so we can do a customize for mic 1 okay mic 1 so maybe we have a mic here so for example let's see where's our mic Okay, we have our mic one. Done. Next, number two. Maybe we have a mic two. Mic two. Maybe we have mic three. Okay. And other thing which we can put vocal. Female. Okay. Done. Male. Done. And other things. Let's say instrument two bar guitar, cello, trumpet, keyboard, e-piano, sing, and the rest. So we have patch uh, about how many we have? 12 okay we have 12 here so we can change some of the color if you want for easier to identify so i put it randomly okay close is done you can see the coloring here but it's not highlighted so this is what the patch guy is doing so back to the board the sound engineer will have to assign this uh, inputs to the channel so to assign the inputs to the channel I will call it a digital patching which means for input 1 under the home okay I can select for example I will prefer a guitar so I can copy this preset the naming the design the pictures by pressing this done you can see it's changed then i can go to channel 2 by select channel 2 maybe i prefer a female copy okay number three i prefer a male walker copy or maybe i still have few more walker here i can just patch to number four five six and I can patch according to what I want, which I doesn't follow what the patch guy is, is has been patched to the AES50. So to recap, 
at the routing side, the patch guy is patching according what he is physically patching to the stage boxes. And at the sound, uh, at the board, the sound engineer using the home for the input, he is patching according to what he want, what channel, I mean what inputs to what channel he prefer and he can rearrange according to his desire. So this is the input part for the output part. We go to routing. This is the input. This is the output. So for the output, unlock it. We can go to AES50. From here, you can choose your bus or main up to unit. Let's say we choose our bus here. We can choose our bus 1. Bus 1 as well is the left and right. And in order to change the coloring, the, the pictures, we just go to this um, main uh, under bus master, press bus 1, select. Here, there's a customize. We can change the name. Maybe this is 2 stage monitor or main system we can try our stage monitor which in yellow color close and we turn on the script scribble light done so this is how we assign the output AES A1 and 2 is coming from bus 1 this is how we assign the output. Hope you understand this and see you in next episode.